South Carolina, meantime, also reporting a record high daily case count, almost 9,000 new infections confirmed. Just yesterday, the Palmetto State reported more than 5,000 cases. Now, because of these new numbers, South Carolina health leaders are pleading for you to avoid crowds and stay home this New Year's Eve, or you just might join others in these statistics. WCNC Charlotte's Indira Skiva is live for us at a test site in Rock Hill. So Indira, what else are health leaders advising? Well, they want you to know that if you need a COVID-19 test next week, expect to wait in line for up to one or two hours. Now, testing at this Rock Hill site, which just wrapped up about an hour ago, was just about 10 minutes today. So they warn you to be prepared as numbers may soar next week. And I'm very concerned, but I fully expect that as bad as the numbers are today, they will very possibly be worse next week, especially with you know New Year's Eve parties and that sort of thing. DHEC Director Dr. Edward Simmer says with record-breaking COVID-19 cases in the state, the next few weeks will be difficult for South Carolina. Leaders are asking residents with mild symptoms who can take care of themselves at home to avoid going to emergency rooms. I think what we are seeing, though, is that the emergency departments and the urgent care centers are starting to get a bit overwhelmed and are starting to really, you know, develop some lines and, and, and having people wait longer than they would like. With most students returning to classrooms next week, health leaders say masks should be worn and they're encouraging students to be vaccinated. Right now, schools plan to return to in-person classes after the winter break. At this point, everybody in K-12 schools is eligible for vaccination now because five and up are eligible. We know that getting, as Dr. Summer said, maximally vaccinated, getting everything, all the doses that you are eligible for is the best protection against this virus and its variants. As for businesses, bars and restaurants, leaders say as of right now, they will also remain open, but masks should be worn and social distancing guidelines followed. The recommendation now is in light of Omicron and how transmissible it is um, that people wear uh, if they're going to wear a cloth mask, they also double up with a uh, disposable um, surgical mask or procedure mask um, or that they, you know, wear a KN95 or such. As for longer testing lines, now the state is looking for solutions, including adding more testing sites throughout the state. Live in Rock Hill, Indira Esquiva, WCNC Charlotte. Indira, thank you.